Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture series of satellite communication and today's topic is telemetry tracking and command TT and C. Telemetry tracking and command this is a satellite subsystems as in the previous video I have discussed about there are four major subsystems of satellite one is the power supply second is attitude and orbit control which we have discussed in the previous video third is the telemetry tracking and command and fourth is the communication subsystem so in this video I am going to tell you what is the objective what is the function of telemetry tracking and command unit and how it is like being performed for the satellite communication let us begin telemetry tracking and command subsystem it is a part of satellite management task it means all the management tasks for the satellite communication is being done by the telemetry tracking and command subsystem. It also provides a most dynamic link in between the satellite and a ground station. See the link is being provided in between the satellite and a ground station. So there are various transmitter receiver tasks which is to be performed. If you have to understand the major functions which are being performed by the telemetry tracking and command subsystem like we are saying that it deals with the management task. So here one of the important function is transmission of the housekeeping information status of satellite to ground control station if there is a requirement of measure of angle and range for the localization that is to be done receiving some command signals from station keeping operations for onboard equipments this is also being done by telemetry tracking and command subsystem so in this particular manner you can understand it in detail this overall system it consists of three units first is telemetry subsystem second is tracking subsystem and third is the command subsystem we will be talking about in detail one by one what is telemetry what is tracking what is command and what is the function of each and every unit what is the function of the telemetry its function is to monitor the satellite parameters and to transmit the measured value to the control stations the function of the tracking is to monitor at each and every time about the movement of the satellite right as if you are saying you are tracking someone it means you are continuously observing continuously monitoring and third is the command subsystem so command subsystem it performs the opposite operation to the telemetry like it receives the command from the satellite verifies its reception and executes received commands so in this particular manner you can say it now let us talk about in detail first the general block diagram of the telemetry tracking and command system you can see there is a satellite for a satellite satellite telemetry tracking and command antenna is required one is the transmitting antenna second is the receiving antenna this is the transmitting section this is the receiving section you can say what happens in the case of the like satellite you know that number of sensors are bounded on the body of a satellite which used to sense and send the data to the ground station about various parameters so telemetry receiver is there whatever the data whatever the information that is to be processed by data processor and it is sent to the computer for attitude and orbit correction at the same time because there is a unit which is continuously monitoring observing the movement of the satellite which is the tracking unit it used to send the data to the ground station here all the informations or the data which is received that is to be analyzed and appropriate con controller will work and whatever the command is to be given that command is being transmitted by the telecommand transmitter and accordingly if required any correction that is to be performed by the satellite or the spacecraft so here you can see telemetry and tracking these are on the receiving side means they are receiving the information from the sensors from the satellite while telecommand transmitter it is transmitting the command signals or information to the satellite first is the telemetry system 
the function of the telemetry system it's to collect the data from various sensors and send this data to the control center or the earth station the most commonly parameters which you would like to understand which kind of data is to be sensed by the sensor and it is used to send to the like earth station or the ground station or the control center so the data may be for voltage current and temperature of all the major subsystems it may be about the switch status it may be about the pressure of propulsion tanks output from the attitude sensors reaction wheel speed some environmental information surrounding information current drawn by each subsystem what is the temperature of other subsystem so various parameters various things are going to be monitored over there so telemetry system it collects and sends these many datas you can understand this particular diagram whatever the data is being received from the sensor first it needs to be converted analog to digital converter then there is a requirement of the formatter modulator and accordingly it will be transmitted like right? see usually hundreds of sensors are required to monitor the telemetry data to monitor the data which are related with the satellite and when the satellite is in the transfer orbit the telemetry transmitter that is connected to the traveling wave tube amplifier in the satellite repeater and accordingly it works second is the tracking system tracking means something which is to be monitored continuously so tracking system it is located on the earth station you must remember it and it provides the information about the range elevation and azimuth angle of the satellite and tracking is very important when the satellite is to be launched from the transfer orbit to the final orbit we have understand we uh, that during the mechanism of launching a satellite there is a transfer orbit which is the temporary orbit and from then from that temporary orbit uh, one velocity increment is required and the satellite is going to be placed into the final orbit so tracking is very important during the transfer of the satellite in the launch position of geostationary satellites tends to be shifted we have understand that there are various forces various impacts which may impact the satellite orbit right so that is why continuously tracking is required next is the command system see for command operation satellite contains a receiver and this particular receiver works only for the command signal transmitted from telemetry tracking and command earth station and as we already discussed that the telemetry system it transmits information about the satellite while command subsystem receives command signal from the earth station you must be able to differentiate in between two and it is always very much required to prevent unauthorized command which is being received or decoded that is why there is a requirement that sometimes the command signals are encrypted wherever in the applications the security is the major concern if you are saying that commands are being like um, shared command is being sent then some of the examples of commands you can understand that the command is related to the transponder switching the command is related to the antenna pointing it is for battery reconditioning beacon switching thrusters firing or switching of the heaters for various subsystems uh, like command for the control of apogee boost motors and different different command signals actually being sent the block diagram of the spacecraft command system can be drawn in this manner here you can see the major units are what first the information will be received demodulated then command decoder command logic interface circuitry so first information is being received that is to be demodulated then there is a unit command decoder so decoder is producing actually command messages and clock signals so it first detects the coding and then creates a output binary stream 
and it actually downstream the command subsystem components like then command logic command logic it validates the command validating the command means if there is any default that is to be rejected like if there is any uncertainty of the validity so that particular kind of commands is to be rejected and it drives appropriate interface circuitries here what is the function of the interface circuitry when we are talking that command logic is driving appropriate interface circuitry so interface circuitry may be a latching relays it may be a pulse commands level commands serial and parallel data commands so accordingly the necessary function is to be performed just to revise in this particular video we have discussed about telemetry tracking and command system what is the function of telemetry what is the function of tracking what is the function of command subsystem in detail thank you so much for watching this video